what if I told you that you could get a free, and I do mean free, cell phone plan? It's what we've all been waiting for, right? It's the pot of gold, it's the holy grail, it's too good to be true? Well, we'll find out in just a second, but first I'll remind you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet done so, and head to reviews.org for more reviews of not just mobile plans, but TV, internet, and home security as well. All right, now we can see what the deal is with Freedom Pop, so let's dive in. Okay, now that my awesome clickbaity lead has got you in here, let me just confirm that yes, Freedom Pop does in fact have free plans. The only real catch is that they're really tiny plans. I'll get to that in just a sec, because first I have to explain how Freedom Pop actually works. The big difference is that instead of using a cellular connection to make calls, Freedom Pop uses VOIP, or Voice Over Internet Protocol. Basically, that means to make a call, you're using internet data instead of cell data, just like Skype or something like that. VOIP doesn't take much data at all, so it's super cheap for Freedom Pop to run, thus the free plans. This also means you'll rely on either a strong data signal or Wi-Fi to make clear calls, although for about four bucks a month, you can subscribe to their premium voice service that will use a cell signal if your VOIP signal is weak. All right, now that's for calls. Those free plans do also have a data limit, but that limit is so low, either 200 or 500 megabytes per month, that you won't really be able to do much besides make calls anyway. That much data is the equivalent of a whopping five minutes of HD video streaming, so the free plan probably isn't your best bet if your phone is anything more than a phone to you. At least when you're on the go, anyway, you can always use Wi-Fi to get around those data caps so your phone doesn't have to just be a brick, I guess. But if you do need some on-the-go data, Freedom Pop has three more tier plans, two gigs, five gigs, and 10 gigs of monthly data. These are all prepaid plans, and they range in price from 10 bucks a month up to 60, depending on how far in advance you're willing to prepay. There's no unlimited option, so if you're constantly streaming on your phone, none of these would work out too well for you. But still, if you're willing to prepay for 12 months, then 20 bucks a month for 10 gigs of data is a pretty good deal. If you're intrigued by Freedom Pop, then it's time to look into what kind of performance is on offer here. Freedom Pop piggybacks on the networks of both Sprint and AT&T, and which one you get depends on what type of phone you have. CDMA phones are on the Sprint network, and GSM phones use AT&T's network. Now, what do these acronyms mean? Well, for our purposes today, it doesn't much matter. But you can always Google what kind of phone you have to see which network you would be on. We generally recommend AT&T's network over Sprint's, so if you have a choice, that's what I'd point you toward. Either way though, piggybacking on, say, AT&T doesn't mean you'll necessarily get the same level of performance that an actual AT&T customer would get. So take those high profile names with a grain of salt. And speaking of which phone you'll be using, Freedom Pop does have a selection of phones for you to purchase from Apple, Samsung, LG, and more. The caveat here though is that all of their phones are used and you won't find the latest models on the list. So if you're the type of person who camps out for the release of each new iPhone, then don't expect much in this category. The good news though is that it will be a lot cheaper than a new phone. All right, so ultimately does Freedom Pop live up to the hype of a free cell phone service? Well, I think the saying you get what you pay for is appropriate here. You don't get a whole lot for that free plan, but then again, you might not need a lot. So if your style of cell phone usage fits what Freedom Pop is offering, then great, have a look at them. If you're a heavier user than what I've described, then check out some of the other providers. We've got plenty of reviews for you to check out. All right, now if this video helped you out, then make sure you subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comments. And if you want some more detail on Freedom Pop, check out the full written review on reviews.org. Thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you on the next review.